Embedded engineers, developers, and professionals everywhere in the embedded industry, welcome to In Case You Missed It, Embedded Insights, the weekly news show all about embedded technologies and solutions from your friends at Embedded Computing Design. It's Friday, November 21st, 2025. I'm Ken Briota, Editor-in-Chief of Embedded Computing Design, and these are our top stories for this week. First up, Rich Nass recently spent some time with Synaptic's new CEO, Rahul Patel. It was at the company's Tech Day event held in its San Jose headquarters, and in the interview, they talked about everything that was relevant from Silicon to Edge AI and everything in between, so make sure you check that out. Our next story comes from a company called CyberWiz, and one of its founders has written a wonderful, comprehensive approach to compliance with the EU Cyber Resilience Act, specifically tailored toward OEMs. Uh, the new legislation uh, was adopted in October of 2024, so a little more than a year old now, and it requires OEMs to adopt a comprehensive approach to cybersecurity in all their products. So you want to give that a read if you're doing anything in Europe. Finally, we're featuring our most recent episode of the Embedded Insiders podcast. In this episode, we feature interviews with Brandon Hansen of C-Level Systems and Jerry Chen, founder and CEO of Upbeat Technology. And uh, Rich Nass and I recap our recent trip to Anaheim, California for Embedded World North. North America 2025 and some of our uh, highlights and even some lowlights from that show. Make sure you give that a listen every week. That's the Embedded Insiders podcast. And as a little glimpse into the future, I'll be returning to CES in Las Vegas in January to have meetings, see what's new in consumer-facing embedded technology innovation, especially in automotive, and of course, meet with as many of you as I can. Reach out to schedule time to get together while I'm in town and while you're at it. Download our resource, the top six things every exhibitor should do at CES. The link for that is in the description. That's it for this week. Make sure you look for the In Case You Missed It LinkedIn newsletter for even more stories that you don't want to miss. That comes out every Monday on LinkedIn and you can subscribe to that newsletter over there or while you're here, subscribe to our YouTube channel. So you don't miss any of our shows, click that notification icon so you know when we're about to go live with any of our shows and visit embeddedcomputing.com for all the news in the embedded computing space published daily throughout all the week. Follow us on LinkedIn and all across the web for those updates as we share them. And please reach out if you'd like to advertise or become a sponsor of In Case You Missed. Make sure you never miss an episode of In Case You Missed It Embedded Insights. And I will see you next week. I hope you have a lovely weekend. If I don't see you, have a great Thanksgiving.